Hey everyone, it's Konami I and today I'm going to be reviewing some Sailor Moon items for you today. I have the Petite Cara Glitter Set 1 and 2 that just came in the mail. And I also have the Dark Moon Clan and the School Life Boxes. For this first video, I think I'm going to open this guy up here. So I'll probably be releasing more videos this coming week of me reviewing the other sets. So originally I wasn't going to collect the Petite Cara set. Uh, in fact, I was totally against it because I was like, man, they are really small and I probably won't like them very much. But then they came out with the Dark Moon Clan and I was like, dang it, now I have to get them. Luckily for me, they released another set under the glitter versions and I decided that that's when I would start collecting them so then I could have the senshi in their sailor uniforms and they would be all glittery and then I could collect the school set and have them be in their normal civilian look and so it would kind of distinctly separate them I guess so with that let's start alrighty guys so this is how the Petite Cara first glitter set came to me and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So this is what the box looks like when you take it out of the bubble wrap. Alright, so this is the top of the box. Um, up here it says Kira Kina in a glitter version um, and basically what it's saying is that it's the first set that was released but a glitterized version of each of the senshi. On the side, you can see all of the different variations that you can get. This is the other side, and this is one of the other sides. On the back, of course, it has the safety information. And then here's the bottom of the box. And I'm noticing here on the box, it doesn't actually show... There's no Telly sticker on the outside of the box. So I'm not really certain about that. I do know that this is an official product from Japan. So, yeah. Um, and I want to point out really quick that there's like some perforation here on the box and then on the side um, And that's actually because there's two ways to open the box if you tear it from the sides here It'll open up kind of like I don't know like that kind of like a compact and then the perforation here is when you open the box that way it'll tilt up so that you can display the boxes for the retailer um, and show what the product is inside. So this is what the box looks like open. I'm a little bit collector-ish about everything, so I like to try and keep my boxes pristine. So of course, I am not going to be ripping them on the perforated lines. So inside we have six individual boxes. Oh, okay, here we go. It looks like on each of these boxes, there is an individual toy sticker. So that kind of puts my mind at ease. So inside the box is these six individual boxes. On the top we have Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Mars. Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, and Moon are on the front end, of course, as I pointed out earlier. Each individual box has their own toy sticker. On the side we have the variants, just kind of like the uh, side of the big box. And then on the bottom we have the UPC, the telephone number for help. And on the back, we have a picture of Sailor Moon, the choking hazard warning, and also up here we have the description saying that Luna and Artemis will come with Moon or Venus respectively. So yeah, let's get to opening these guys. Lord help me because I know that with blind boxes that you have to rip them open and so my little collector heart is going to break each time but uh, that's why you guys will be able to see my face because you'll see the pain inside as I am ripping these boxes open so without further ado let's get to ripping all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening the box oh my gosh this is gonna be so terrible for me because I already know that um, I'm gonna be really upset that I can't like reseal this. I'm hoping to get set A, which is the open eyes version, but I know that if I get set B, it's really not the end of the world. So here we go. I'm trying so hard to be like ridiculous about it. 
Okay, not that bad. Um, it looks like the first one is Sailor Mercury. And if you look right here, right here, Sailor Mercury has open eyes, which means that if memory serves me correctly, that all of these guys are going to be open eyed. Sailor Mercury comes with five different compartments. I'm gonna open it up and see what we got. So this is what Sailor Mercury's base looks like. It's got a nice pearly finish to it. Yeah, I don't know why they call it the glitter version because it's more of like a pearly, but uh, yeah, let's get her assembled. So this is what Sailor Mercury looks like assembled. Um, I take back anything negative that I ever said about the petite cars. They are really adorable. Down to their teeny tiny little legs here. Their teeny tiny little hands that you can hold. And their big eyes. Sailor Mercury has like a sheen of white running through her hair right here. It's like a frosted white. Um, it kind of gives the figure a little bit more dimension. And I'm really loving this figure. Her paint job is fantastic. Uh, I'm so used to opening prize figures that this one actually really surprised me uh, with how clean and crisp all the lines are. So, and this is just the first figure, so I'm really, I'm really excited to open up the rest of them. Okay, so because of my extreme weirdness and collector -ness -ness, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but after every time I open it, I have written the planetary symbol of each character and I'm putting it on the inside of their boxes. Don't ask me why. I am so weird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> also, since you probably won't see it unless you buy it, on the inside flaps of the box, you'll have Mercury and Venus. On to the next one. I'm already like super excited and happy over the fact that I got um, the open eyes figures so like not much can ruin, ruin that moment. So. Uh, the next one looks like, oh girl, we got Sailor Moon herself and Luna. So Sailor Moon has seven separate compartments. And just look at these. Can we just take a second to look at these? Like, look at our little head rolling around in there. And their little body and her teeny tiny little legs. And then there's Luna. And Luna has her own base. And it's clear, so I'm gonna have to be really careful not to lose it. And here's Sailor Moon's base. So this is what Sailor Moon looks like all assembled. Can we just look at these curls right here? Like, the spirals are so crisp and pretty, and she's so pearly and nice. And I didn't mention it before, but these guys actually have a bit of wiggle room, like head swivel, so you can actually kind of play around with them. I wouldn't say like ultimate pose them, but uh, they are able to be kind of moved around the base. I am loving this. Uh, and then here is her back. And I love the attention to detail that they put on to her hair. Just adding little notches in there to add some dimension to the figure. Like I said, I'm so used to the prize figures that these are like just blowing my mind. And here's Luna, which can sit right next to Sailor Moon. She's pretty detailed herself. I don't know if I can zoom in far enough, but... Luna actually has like an indent where her mouth is and it's pretty cool how detailed she is too. I had a little trouble getting her stuck on her base but afterwards she is stuck just fine. Alrighty, so I'm gonna draw a little moon. Rip and stick. Alrighty, on to the next one. Okay, yeah, as happy as I was to get the set A, like it still kills me a little bit inside that these aren't like perfectly ripped. I got Sailor Moon and now I have Sailor Venus. So cute. Um, and of course Artemis as well. Uh, Sailor Venus does come with 
six different compartments. And she's looking really cute too. So I think this is my first grievance that I have about this set. But if you look at Sailor Venus's stand, it's like a gold color and if she was represented by the color gold, I probably wouldn't have such a huge deal with it. But compared to the other figures, here, I'll put the peg in and I'll show you. The peg is definitely yellow. Mixed with it, like in certain lighting, this yellow looks kind of dull. Like maybe there's a hint of green in it. Maybe like a pukey color. Not digging it so much, but maybe it'll look different when Venus is on top of it. Okay, so now that Sailor Venus is assembled, I don't think my opinion has changed, unfortunately. I think maybe I'm just getting like some really bad luck with my Sailor Venus merchandise because um, if I ever upload my Sailor Venus figure art unboxing, um, I was really, really critical of her for some reason and most of that just had to do with like the way that she looked versus the other girls. Um, I think as understandable as that is, like I feel really bad saying that she's my least favorite in this lineup. So I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but it looks like right here she has like a little bit of a paint defect um, and then on the inner corners of her arms where her arm meets her body, there's like a thick line of orange and it just looks so weird. Her eyes are perfect though, I do love them. And her stance is really cute and her hair is really pearly, but her bow is actually like immaculate, so I can't really say bad about that, but I feel so bad because I really love Sailor Venus and for me to have myself diminish her and it makes me really sad. <laughs> Sorry Sailor Venus. Artemis though, mm. just like Luna, looking so fly, like so perfect. So there is Sailor Venus with Artemis. So I'm gonna stick a Sailor Venus in the box. Oh no, I got pen mark on the inside of the box. This is how incredibly OCD and crazy I am. I apologize. Halfway there! Box number four. I wonder if I use my scissors if it would make me feel better. Let's just hope I don't rip the box. I mean, snip the box. Oh, that makes it a worse. That makes. Oh, that made a worse noise. We're not gonna do that next time. Jupiter. Okay, so I said it before, but I'll say it again. Jupiter has been growing on me lately as a character, and I, re I really didn't like her originally, but the more merchandise of her that I get, and most of the time I get um, complete Sailor Team stuff, so I don't have just like one-offs of everything, but the more Sailor Jupiter stuff that I get, the more I am like appreciating her as a character, and I... I love her to death. Alrighty, so here is Sailor Jupiter's base. So pretty. Forest green. It looks like right here by her skirt edge. She did take a little bit of the same fate as Venus. And she does have some paint defects, but I'm willing to overlook it because oh my gosh, look at this hair. Like there's some gold pearlization on it and it's so cute. Her bow is amazing. And her stance is really cute too. Um, I noticed her gloves, first of all, in the pearlization process, look, they stand out for some reason a lot more than the other girls. One thing I'll show you that's a little weird is that unlike the other girls, because she has a ponytail, her connector is actually like on the side of her head. So kind of different. I'm not hating it. I love it. So we're gonna take that box and put a big old four on it for Jupiter. And now all we have left are Mars and Tuxedo masks. So let's play a game. Is it Mars or is it Tuxedo mask? It's gonna be Tuxedo mask. 
Tuxedo Kamen-sama? Tuxedo Kamen-sama. Okay, so we have Tuxedo Mask. Tuxedo Mask comes with five, six, <laughs> six different compartments. And oh my gosh, <gasps> look at this little top hat and this little cape. I am like dying right now. This is so cute. I can't wait. I'm already looking. I don't see something I don't like. But I'll tell you about it in a second. This is Tuxedo Mask Space. Um, it's purple. I'm not really certain why they went with purple because for some reason I felt like that was going to go to Sailor Saturn or Sailor Pluto. But you know what? It probably is. I have set two just sitting over there, so when I open it up, I guess I shouldn't be surprised if Pluto or Saturn is represented by purple. Here is Tuxedo Mask. I am going to put this out there. I'm not sure why, but his smile, and I told you this earlier, but his smile kind of bugs me just like the tiniest bit. Maybe it's because it's so big. Maybe it's because it's so wide. Like Sailor Venus, the other girl who I am critical of, she has a rather large smile too, but look at how much red paint or orangish red paint they use on his lips. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. For some reason that I, I don't know if I like that. But positive wise, I am loving his paint job and his cute little tuxedo. And I showed you him this way because he has accessories. Um, being the only male, they gave him a cape, which I'm going to put on him right now. Oh my gosh, look at the prettiness on the inside of the cape. Oh gosh, I'm loving it. And then his top hat, which I think just kind of sits on top because I don't see it being able to connect anywhere. Hold on, maybe if I attach him first. That does not want to stay on, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave him like that. So tuxedo mask, everyone. So what do we do for a tuxedo mask? We'll just write a TM because I am terrible at drawing those masks. All right, and last but certainly not least, Sailor Mars. Sailor Mars. Oh, she's really pretty. Oh, I can't wait to look at her too. And here's Sailor Mars's face. It's showing up a little orangish on my camera, but I assure you that it is bright red. Okay, so Sailor Mars is incredibly cute. She's so detailed with her earrings, her eyes, her hair has like this purple glinty to it. Um, the black is matte and then it kind of goes into the pearl uh, purple. And you can see right here that it's really apparent that it's different. So you can kind of see where they added the pearl. But on the back part, however, it's a seamless transition. So it's a little weird for me to look at um, like at the top, but I'm not gonna be staring at her from the top. I'll probably be staring at her from it like this where she'll be on my shelf. Now, when I first saw the Mars Petite card, this is why I really didn't like them in the first place was because when she was displayed or shown to me, her head was like all the way down here and you completely lose her neckline and she looks so strange. So I purposely like pulled it out a little bit to make her look just a little bit more human because the way that she's posed and standing, um, yeah, that, that makes her head look really weird. And there she is. I will point out too that I think it's just any of the girls that have their arms or hands touching any part of their body that's why they have a paint defect because if you can see this one's way more apparent than Venus and Jupiter but there's like a literal paint flaw right there and then on the inside of her arm where I guess it should look clear or something it's really white in there so not really sure what to think about that but for what these were and from what I'm used to these are still so beautiful alrighty guys and this is the whole sailor team all together like I said I am super surprised at how this set is 
And I really enjoyed unboxing these guys for you today. It was so much fun putting them together and you know, even with their flaws, I still love this set and I'm really excited to open up set number two. So overall, I'm really happy with the quality and all of the cuteness that comes along with these little guys. I'm really sad that I almost passed these guys up because I would have been missing something so adorable. Just, can we just look at this? This is, I, I can't even. Paint flaws aside, I think this set is something that everyone who is a Sailor Moon collector should add to their collection. These are just so adorable enough that if you have them, you're gonna love them. Now, I recently saw my friend Age's collection and she has like every single version of these and there's a lot of them. So I don't know if I will be collecting all of them but I do know that I am really excited to open up box number two. So if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you like the way that I review things today, please let me know in the comments box below. I've really been trying to figure out what kind of the things you guys like to see versus what you guys don't like to see. I'd like to be fun and engaging, but I also want to be informative. Stay tuned obviously for box number two and of course the dark moon clan box one and school life uh i am super excited to open all of these guys and in fact the ones that i want are the christmas ones the stars ones the petite cara uh candy land i think i'm just gonna go for all of them so make sure that you stay tuned because i will most likely end up doing a review and unboxing of all of them so this has been a great time unboxing for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Konami Icing. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Bye. So, Tuxedo Mask, everyone, with his adorably large knot staying on. Oh gosh.